So we're here at uh, Sajem Wireless and uh, at the Innovation and Technology Center uh, at the corner uh, at Mobile World Congress 2010. And you're showing a new a future product. Yes. This is an e-reader. This is an e-reader. Uh, it is not available yet. It's not a production device, but we're very excited about it. As you see, it has a, an elegant, slim form factor, a six-inch display, and it also has a GSM radio and Wi-Fi. Cool. So as you say here, it says it has 3G Wi-Fi built in. Yes. That's cool. And it's a six-inch screen. Correct. And uh, it'll have a uh, touch. Yes, it is a capacitive touch display. Capacitive touch, so you have very good re readability. We do. You can, in fact, the, the notion is that I'll be able to slide through pages um, and, and have easy, efficient interaction with the device, yes. And uh, so in, in, in theory, there is, uh, and it works, I mean, like, like you just do a normal touch, like, like an, basically like on an iPhone, capacitive, uh, just at a finger, and it works. Uh, it's super readable. This, I mean, it's maximum readability. Absolutely. There's but the thing in, is that this is not just a, a tethered, connected device. I can download from anywhere. So the idea here is, of course, I can do a level of browsing. I have music available because there's storage music, on board. Yeah. And as well, I have uh, the ability to, to read books as well. And as you see over here, I'm sliding page to page. So, so this is uh, uh, like a, a project under development, right? Yes. So uh, it's still a prototype, very early prototype? This is a very early prototype. Very we're early excited about, cool. again, the form factor and design, and this is something that we're pursuing. Again, it's a gem wireless, it's not just mobile phones, it's connecting lifestyle devices. You say binder here, is that just a This word? is a holding name that we have, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's not necessarily, in fact, it could be branded by uh, another uh, yeah. partner. Ah, okay. Because is that something Massage Wireless does often? They brand, they get brand, uh, partners. Yes, we're essentially white label. Like we could speak about our Puma phone. Um, this is yeah. a device that's just been unveiled here yeah. at this year's Mobile Congress. I'll do another video of the Puma phone. Very and good. Cool. I look forward to with that. With a nice Puma logo, and so it's, it's going to be distributed. Beautiful device by... done with the DNA of Puma. Yeah. So it's conceivable a device like this yeah. would be branded, and the design would reflect. Yeah. The brand that we're working with. So it's the first time you showed here Mobile Congress. It so is. there's partners checking it out, yes. and uh, so the, the idea is that they will they will want to distribute this That's to the many expectation. people. There's been a lot of enthusiasm about this, nice. and it's just a one item in our portfolio. You see as well yeah. that um, it has tilt. Yes, recognition, and this is a menu. Yes, menu button here. Then you back to to it goes back and back, and there's all these. Uh, but the, 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 I mean, this is really like. Uh, it's just not going to look like this when the yeah. finalized uh, user interface is exactly. different. Exactly. Very cool. And there they could be a uh, web browser in there, there could be uh, RSS feeds, there could be so many things, right? It's just uh, going to be up to the future. We'll see. Yes. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you very much.